morning guys. I just arrived at Epcot. It is 9.10. Park opened at 9. I missed early entry. Um, I didn't go to bed until 2.30 this morning after the after hours um, and I got up at 6.30. Uh, so I, did, I didn't really, I wanted to get here for early entry but also at the same time I didn't want to like put pressure on myself or rush to get here. So I got here when I got here. The Skyliner line at Pop Century was wild. Uh, I'll put a clip in right here of the line as I was walking to the end of the line. And me personally, I don't think I've ever seen it that long. And I did time it, it was a 28 minute wait from the time I got in line to the time I got on the Skyliner. Um, so that took 28 minutes just to get on the Skyliner at Pop. Once I got over to Caribbean, it was right on. Um, and I just got here now, scanned into the park at 9.10. Um, right now I am out of breath. <laughs> I'm heading over to Guardians of the Galaxy because uh, my I did do virtual queue this morning. I got group 12 and it was actually called while I was in the line for the Skyliner at 8.40 it got called so I have until 9.40 to get over there. So I have a half an hour but I'm headed over there right now. Um, and I did buy Genie Plus today too. I actually bought it at the Magic Kingdom earlier this morning. Uh, that was $18 for Epcot today. Um, and I did make a lightning lane for test track. It's at 10 something, I can't remember right now. It's like 10, I wanna say 10.50. Um, so I have that later, a little bit later, like an hour-ish, a little more. Um, I think that's updating, I've updated you on everything that's gone on so far this morning. So I got four hours of sleep. And yeah, we're headed to Guardians, so. Oh, I also bought the individual lightning lane for Guardians too, so I'll be running it again later this evening. I think I selected like 625 uh, for that. Okay, now I gotta figure out where I'm going. Okay, I gotta go towards the Epcot ball. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on Guardians. Turn off that alarm. I've got an important transmission coming in. Hey, what's up, Nova Corp? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? When we figure that, that thing's got to be worth a fortune. I am good. The question that who do you think took it? Perhaps a big man That is a big man. I need to alert Nova Corp. I've been watching Terrans for too long. This species has failed. I think we should be back. Guardians. This wasn't my first time writing it. It was my first time writing it with like the regular songs because the first time and the second time that I wrote it, uh, it was during the Christmas season. So they would play or playing Christmas music. 
So this is my first time writing it with like the regular songs. I don't know if this is the actual name of the song, but I got the Burn Baby Burn song. Burn Baby Burn. That's the song that I got on this ride. Um, like I said, I'll be writing it again later tonight, this evening. Uh, so we'll see if I get what other song I get, if I get a different song. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll get a different song. We'll just have to see what it is. Um, after that, I found something to eat. I ended up getting a churro. I already ate it. Um, but it was really good. I actually, I think that, I honestly think that that was my, my first Disney churro. I think. If not, it's been a while. So it, it was it was really good. I, I enjoyed it. I forgot too. I have some leftover from this morning uh, cheese puffs in my backpack that I'm gonna eat in a little bit as well. Y'all, it is hot right now. It's it's just after 10, and it's really hot already. And the wait times are not too nice right now. Um, I'm I'm already feeling like dead from today so uh okay so i'm at the front of the park obviously spaceship earth's right above me i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go all the way to the front and look at the opening like bit for flower and garden and then i'll work my way back and then i might go in these two gift shops that are right here and then go from there uh, I was going to do, I was going to do Spaceship Earth, but the time keeps rising. It was 10, then it was 20, and then the last time I looked at it, it was 25. I have test track at 10.50, and I can't book again until 11. Although I feel like I should be able to book again after test track, and then maybe additionally at 11. I don't know. We'll see. So for now, I'm going to go up front 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 and see the I think it's the wish topiaries for flower and garden Asha um, and then like I said we'll go from there after that so that's what's going on right now Okay, so it's just about 11 o'clock. I just got off of the sea with Nemo and friends. I'm heading to my uh, lightning lane for test track right now. I should be able to book um, another lightning lane here in a minute. I'm also passing by on my right a uh, journey of water, which I've never done before. So I will be back later on to go through that but like I said one thing at a time here uh, world showcase and all the booths and stuff should be opening up here so I might uh, get started on that um, and yeah so going ahead to test track right now
We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface.
strategy that we happen to know about. Ladies and gentlemen, our time travels have been long. Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future? Here in the future, your home in the city will be a smart home that automatically knows what you want. Almost as soon as you do. Need something for a special occasion? Your closet comes equipped with a computerized personal shopper. Ew, look at my face. Even I look today. demented. Now that's a smart look. Your smart home has everything organized to help you start your day. The world will literally be at your fingertips. Because your home's information network lets you view your daily planner almost anywhere. And since you don't enjoy cooking, your kitchen becomes fully equipped with a robotic chef. Your smart home will know when it's time for you to leave. Of course, your smart home has already sent for your automated car, which takes you where you want to go, while you relax and enjoy the beautiful view of the future. The end, or should I say the beginning, of your future. Okay guys, so I am currently in the Odyssey. Um, quite honestly, I have no idea where I left off with you guys. Maybe it was it was after Soren. I know I filmed Soren. And then I made another Lightning Lane for Spaceship Earth. So I went and did Spaceship Earth. When I came out of Spaceship Earth, it was raining. So I put my poncho on and walked to Disney Traders. And then I called my mom and sister and talked to them for a little bit. Uh, and then I just went to one of the festival booths of Trow and Trellis. I think that's what, which one it is. And I got the chocolate mousse terrarium, I think is what it's called. It was $5.50. I'm gonna flip it around and show you what it looks like before I give it a try. Okay, so here is what it looks like. I'm hoping that this is going to be somewhat good because this is like basically like chocolate mousse, chocolate pudding. The crumble on top is matcha, so that's the part I'm worried about. And I'm also not going to eat those flowers, even though they feel, I feel like they're probably edible. I'm probably not going to eat them. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Okay, that's the best I'm going to get free-handed. It's literally balancing on the power bank that's charging the my phone right now. So... Let's hope that it doesn't fall, and if it does, I apologize, but let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm a little scared. Let's dump some of that matcha off of there. It smells like chocolate. It's not awful, although it kind of does taste like dirt. It's probably the matcha, although it could be the chocolate, because there is a lot of chocolate in here. It's actually not that bad. Here's one of the flowers. I'm not eating those, I'm sorry. I'm not that brave. Especially being a picky eater. The more I'm eating it, it's actually it's actually pretty good. So yay! A win. Okay, next here I've got the violet lemonade. I've never had this before of all the times that I've been to the Flower and Garden Festival, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Alright, I put my reusable straw in there. I'm a little nervous, actually. Let's see. Oh. Um...
It's a little tart. I guess it's not terrible. Hold on, I gotta put my sunglasses down. I have a smudge or something on my right side of the sunglasses and it's so annoying. And I tried wiping them off with water and it wouldn't come off. So for now I have to deal with it. Um, right over here is the Swirl Showcase, which I also need to go to, but right now I'm gonna walk past it. I think I still really need to eat like an actual meal. Um, there obviously is more food booths that I want to go to. I am kind of worried that I'm not going to have time to do everything. I still have to finish looking at all the topiaries. There's still a few rides I want to do. <clears throat> I want to walk the World Showcase. Um, like I said, food booths. I, I don't know. There's just so much, so little time. I haven't been feeling the best. I've had a major headache pretty much all day. Knock on wood, it feels nice. It feels okay right now, but. Northern Bloom, there was something from this one too that I wanted. Uh, the whiskey, chocolate maple whiskey cake. That one I wasn't sure about. Um, but anyways, so I keep, I've been pushing off my break for a couple of hours now so I am headed towards the Skyliner now um, I'm in Canada so I'm gonna try to get to the Skyliner go back to the resort and take a break probably a shorter break than I would have if I had taken it earlier just because it is getting later. Not like super late, but like late enough that I don't really want to be out of the parks more than I have to. But I, it, I definitely need to take a break. I need to change my shoes, my bag. I need to eat real food. So I'll probably end up getting, oh my gosh. I see Piglet and Rabbit and King Louie. Hold on, let me flip this around. That was fun. They're kind of just like randomly meeting. Um, okay, so now I'm entering the UK. I do want to stop in one of the shops over here. Cause I'm looking for something for my sister. And I think she said it was in the UK. So it's food. So I want to get that on my way out. So it's not gonna melt. Um, and then We'll make our way up to the, the Skyliner, but yeah, so once I officially exit the park, I will uh, end this vlog. All right, everybody, I am heading into the Skyliner station, so that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a magical day. Bye, guys.